Hello everybody and welcome back to the American Icarus channel. Here on this channel we talk about cryptocurrency and occasionally other things. Today we're going to talk about XRP. You know guys, it's Tuesday, right in the middle of the work week. I gotta tell you, you know, the American Icarus here, I still got a full-time job. I'm trying to work out in here in the beginning of the year, taking care of my boy at the same time. Sometimes I gotta scratch and claw and search for the energy to make these videos, but you know what? It's worth it. And when you guys hit subscribe and actually join this community, it becomes even more worth it. And it gives me that motivation to bring you the goods. And I really want to not miss out during this bull run. I don't want you to miss out. And here on this channel, we talk about the hidden gems. You know, you guys might think I don't even like Bitcoin or Ethereum because I never make a video about them. But guys, I love Bitcoin and Ethereum. They are good old sweethearts of mine, believe me. But there's plenty of people out there that dedicate their channel to the analysis and talk of Bitcoin and Ethereum. What we are trying to do here on this channel is get into the altcoin forest, right? We're trying to look for the new and up and coming projects that have amazing potential for 10, 15, 20, 100x gains or more. Of course, we also know that going into the altcoin forest can be a little bit hazardous for your health. And it can be very, very dangerous as altcoins carry a tremendous amount of risk. But nonetheless, we go digging for gold, looking for those hidden gems here on this channel. And lately, the channel has been on fire. So we've been covering the Conflux Network, one of, them, I think, the most hidden gems. Me, very few people on the internet are talking about it. We've just been talking about Pools, who recently launched on the Polkadot Network, DuckDow, Dime, and others. Today, we're going to talk about an oldie but a goodie, XRP. XRP in the house. What do I think about XRP? You know, Coinbase, Kraken, all the big US exchanges are delisting XRP. Oh my goodness, the sky is falling. All the other coins are going up. XRP is going down, 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 down. What do we do? Well, I hold, baby. I hold and I buy. So, Anybody with a crypto strategy has to be doing specific things to reach their goals. Right now, I feel like we are getting bear market XRP prices. So I've been around the crypto space for three or so years. And this is like kind of the same price XRP has been the entire time. So I'm looking around, looking for discounts right now. All the coins are pumping like crazy. And even though a lot of the coins that are pumping, like Polkadot, Cardano, Ethereum, and Bitcoin, in my opinion, they're still great buys. But they have begun pumping. And anytime something's in the middle of pumping, there's that big risk of a correction or a short-term pullback. Now, I personally think that this bear market is going to last about a year, so at least until January of 2022. But along the ways... I want to try to put my money in as much places that's going on the way up as possible. And with me, XRP right now is looking like a fantastic discount. Now, a YouTuber that I really like, Ivan on Tech, I go to him for a lot of my information. He says that XRP is too risky for his taste right now. And I get that and I respect that. And anybody should acknowledge the risk that currently they are under investigation by the SEC. That does mean something. But at the same time, guys, last year at Davos in 2020, Brad, Gar Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, spoke. This guy spoke at Davos. This is the most elitist, globalist, economic forum. I mean, what happens at Davos shakes the foundations of our world. And Brad Garlinghouse spoke there. This guy is so connected. And during this entire SEC lawsuit, I've been watching Ripple. They're hiring big name people. They're making partnerships with Walmart and Amazon. Japan is still using them. Other countries are saying that the US is wrong and it's not a security. And I'm trying to look at the worst case scenario here. And <clears throat> no matter what the SEC does, XRP is not going anywhere. 
all the companies that have invested in integrating Ripple into their infrastructure, they're not going to go anywhere. They just did a big airdrop for the Flare Network, the Spark Token. I've got plenty of them in my wallet. You think that project is just going to abandon itself? You know, it, it's up to you if you want to get into all the conspiracy people, you know, theories about this subject. If you listen to some people, this is all part of the plan. This is the globalists that are going to kind of push us measly retailers out of the space. Because here's the thing. Let's say SEC, let's say that XRP does get labeled a security. Okay? What does that mean? It means it can no longer be sold to anybody unless they're an accredited investor. Now, most of us are not accredited investors. So theoretically, if XRP was classified as a security, all that might mean is that only very wealthy accredited investors could buy it and institutions. And Brad Garlinghouse has said many times their market facing customer is not the retail investor. They are, they are always have been and always have said that they are going after the institutions. Now guys, a lot of people, you know, they love Ethereum, they love DeFi, they love all this cool technology and all these new concepts and, and all this cool stuff. But at the end of the day, the team behind any project matters. If you are investing in a company in the stock market, of course, you're going to concern yourself with what product that company makes. But a product is only hot for a little while until the next best thing comes. If you're investing in the stock market, just like in crypto, you need to be investing in the team. Is Ripple panicking? Is Ripple laying people off? No, they're confident. They just um, congratulated the new SEC chair and said, welcome, we look forward to talking. They're still hiring people. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at some stuff real quick, guys. We gotta take a look here. Okay, guys, here on CoinGecko, we're looking at the XRP price. Today, it is $0.29. Cents. You zoom out, you look at the 90-day chart. You can see here, November, we had that big run up to $0.70, cents, traded sideways a little bit, and then you can see right where the SEC lawsuit came in and had this big, big drop. It bottomed out at $0.18 cents here on CoinGecko, and ever since that bottom now, for a few weeks, we are... Not doing anything crazy, but we are moving along sideways, establishing a pattern of higher lows, okay? And higher lows is great. That means some of the sell pressure is reducing. So anyways, nothing catastrophic on the charts. It looks decent. Here we have an article from the Coindesk back on January 8th. There was a surge in Ripple's price and they kind of speculated that it could have been behind Asia's retail market. So that's very encouraging if you're an XRP holder that retail investors in Asia do not care about the SEC lawsuit and they are going forward buying this coin. There you can see Brad Garlinghouse, a picture of him speaking at Davos, just like I said. And again, guys, just think about it. The CEO of Ripple is speaking at Davos. Do you think this coin is going to go to zero? No, it isn't. All right, guys, so we officially can't buy Ripple. Or... Okay, guys, so we officially can't buy XRP on Coinbase anymore. We can't get it on Kraken. It's getting harder to get in the United States. So what is that going to do? I don't know. Here we've got Lorenzo Stroh with the FX Streets uh, predicting that XRP is primed for another leg down after Coinbase officially suspends it for trading says XRP price had a significant spike but plummeted within the next few hours. Coinbase has announced it will suspend XRP trading on January 19th. As a matter of fact, I see what's going on right now is we've hit a true bottom. We've hit some true support because anybody that was a weak hand is at this point going to be shaken out. So if the way I look at it is this. You are still able to get what has been one of the best performing cryptocurrencies over the last eight years at bear market prices when everything else that's decent and worth buying is up and they are at beginning bull run prices. So from that standpoint, I see Ripple as a bargain. That being said, there is this lawsuit and with it a little bit of uncertainty. So I also wouldn't advise anybody to put everything that they have as investment money 
into XRP. My strategy, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, do your own research, crypto is highly risky, but my personal strategy is about five to 10% of every time I buy crypto, five to 10% of that's going into XRP. And I'm just gonna keep doing that as long as the price is low because I feel like it's good that I'm able to accumulate this nice legacy cryptocurrency with the best team in the business, all the global relationships, CEO speaking at Davos, recently had the Flare Network launch that's dedicated to XRP. I'm still able to get it for what I've been getting it for the last three years in this bull market, so that I like. But at the same time, there's a lot of other good opportunities here in the bull market, and I'm not putting every penny into XRP, nor do I think anybody should put all of their eggs in one basket, XRP or otherwise. So guys, I wanna hear your comments. Leave a comment down below. I wanna see what you guys think about XRP. Are you keeping it? Are you selling it? What Are you scared? Are you nervous? Are you confident? Let me know in the comments below. If you didn't do it at the start of the video, hit subscribe. And guys, I'll catch you on the next video. And don't miss it, because we're gonna go deep into the altcoin forest. We're gonna bring some great opportunities and some great, great information on the next video. See ya.